Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Tuesday and it is barrier day. So our water heater died. Our water our water cooler died and we don't know and Sam bought a new one and we don't know how to work it. Ooh, fancy. I know how. Yeah, we needed Gabby to show us, huh? Gabby's our Sam when he's Gabby at work. Gabby didn't know either. I know, but she figured it out. Easier. Okay, stop. Well, that is cool. Is it? Make sure it's right on your hair. Make sure it's no, no, Sophia, this side. I want gold. How is it said hot? Cause it has that on it. We don't know. Is it cold? Kind of. So what side? Do this side first. Is there a middle one? No. It's like a new toy. So you put that's hot. You have to turn it on and then wait for a few minutes for it to get hot, probably. You probably have to wait for a few minutes. It's cold. Yeah, you probably have to wait for a yeah, few minutes. Yeah, but this goes like that. Oh. So you have to stand here holding it. Yeah, I don't know. Well, there's a book. That's more water? Why don't you get the cold section? Get cold. Go over to cold. There's a there's a sticker and it says what is you that? Put your hands there. Oh. Okay. Super cool. Gabby has this new Starbucks water bottle. I want one. They have all the nice stuff. This is Sophie's. Cold, this is Sophie's that she bought. Super cute. My favorite one is Gabby's. It's silver and it is oh Sophie's. It's silver and it's studded. This is Gabby's. This one's cute too. No, that one's Sophia's. This one's Sophie's silver. too. How many do you need? I let you buy a new one because it has two and I have two. Oh. This is Gabby's. This one's cool. It feels really <laughs> neat. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning guys, it is raining today. Dark, dreary, raining, awful, and today, today is grain day. Grain day. Grain day is the day that I have to fill up all these bags of grain and take them to the barn. All these bags, all those bags. How are you feeling today? Good. Better, she sounds worse. I can feel it in her, hear it in her chest. She's and I, eating it all. And I heard her sleeping last night. I mean, I heard her coughing last night in her sleep. Same. You heard her coughing too? Yeah. Ooh. Be gentle with me. Don't it. I just, I just let it close. Oh, this is not safe, Sky. Let me get in there with you. A bite. Bite. Thank you. You've got to be safe in our family. We are the safe family, hopefully. What'd you dream? Everything was burnt. Like what? Our house caught on fire. Oh my gosh, why you tell me this stuff? I told you you're not gonna wanna hear it. Our house or our? House. Or our barn? House. But everyone lived. And the pets. They just kept coming out of nowhere. Yeah, so that happened. Great. Sometimes I feel like it's not gonna happen today. It's raining. Yeah, sometimes I feel like God it lets us dream things to warn us and to keep us safe and to protect us. And it's kind of like a message like be more safe. Like I love my Samsung Galaxy watch. It's like like a smartphone on my wrist. I love it. And I kept dreaming about cancer, like all the time, dreaming about it, dreaming about it. And I kept saying, does somebody have cancer or am I gonna get cancer? And so I stopped wearing the watch, I stopped dreaming about cancer. Maybe it's just my subconscious, but I believe that God gives us signs. I believe in signs. I believe in the signs, you guys. And then after I took it off, I started to have that sensation, like I've talked about it before, where even though the watch is not on me, my wrist will beep like my watch would beep sometimes. So it's gotten better and better and better. Oh, but God, that is heavy. Yeah. What's wrong with the fence? It fell down. Our fence fell down? No, like the one separate them. 
When did it fall down? Probably last night. When did you notice it? This morning. Oh, so dad doesn't know? I don't know. Oh, that's fabulous. Oh my gosh, it did fall down. Probably because it's raining and every, the whole ground is so soggy and muddy. Dang it hard. Did you fix it? Oh, I'm so proud of you. You're amazing. Thanks for helping her. Gabby was, uh, fixed her hair so beautiful today and now it's raining and yeah. Okay, so I made an executive How decision. Um, give her a good third. One third? Mm -hmm. mm. Um, we got more hay. Anyways, um, we made the, I made the executive decision that we're gonna let Sky out first this morning and then swap them around because no offense to Gabby, but I kind of don't trust the fence. So that's the plan. That is the plan, Stan. Poor ponies. It's okay though. Let's, Sophie, help me put um, Sky's blanket on her. Yeah, I know, it's water. We can't keep the water up. It's a little bit clean. I cleaned up a little for the farrier. He might end up coming through this, this window. This you close it. He might end up coming through this door. This is this window? Well. Mom, oh, this way. No, I'm going this way. But I cleaned up a little bit. I even like kind of washed these things off a little bit. Cleaned that off a little bit. Cleaned all that up a little bit. And now, we cleaned all this. Sophie, you gotta get that out of there. All right, so we are gonna go up to the house. We're hoping to try and go to Horde Station today. If you guys don't know, that place that we go sometimes where there are animals for sale, livestock batteries. and stuff. We're obviously not looking for another pet because, yeah, I got enough on our... So we wanted to go to the sales barn because, I mean, it's fun to see animals. It's not fun to see animals in cages, I get it. It's really sensitive for some people, but we like to go and be exposed to the animals there and see and dream what we could possibly buy one day. Anyways, um, our farrier is supposed to be here at 1.30, but now he's coming at 12.15 because he's early. One thing you learn, or one thing you realize when you have horses, 
is how cold you get staying in the barn with the farriers here. Because <laughs> it takes forever, but the girls only take a short time because they're just trims. All right, Gabby's eating something healthy. For once. For once. Your body can only handle so much junk. She's eating a bowl of apples because you know she can't bite them. Pears. Oh, a bowl of pears. And I don't like my fingers getting all sticky, so I use a fork. And I have to cut it up or else we don't work with that. All right, princess. Um, I think I know why God made me sick. Why did God make you sick? Because I'm chubby. What? And it always makes me skinnier. Oh, I see. I, I see what you're saying. Do you like my other... I kind of believe that too. Just wait. I kind of believe that too. Do you guys believe that? I kind of believe like, I always wish that there was a reset button whenever you overeat and you could like push a reset and you go back to your normal size. I feel like getting sick is like a reset button. Like a reset oh. button? I don't yeah. have a reset button. But the problem I is, that yeah, but the problem is though, if after you hit the reset button and you're sick and you get thinner, then you start eating like the same, then you just get chubbier again after. So, back to what I was saying before. What? I never get sick again. I don't know. It doesn't seem like it works right for me. Okay, back to what I was saying before. Come here. I only have two Lemieux saddle pads here. Oh, three. This one, this one. And this one. But there's no room in my locker. <laughs> so all your other saddle pads are there? Yeah. You know you are an equestrian when you put your hand in your pocket and you pull say? out. Hey. Ah. Uh, I have a shoeless Joe. Um, but like. Carrot. I had a carrot in my pocket. All this time. Probably from last night, a carrot. Mm. Is your pair good, Gabby? Yeah, what comes out of your pocket? Gabby, pick this up. I just cleaned the whole barn what and I come down here and Gabby pocket? makes a big mess. Ew, what is that? Horse treats, wrapper, muffin wrapper. Oh, I need to see if Willow likes this. It's licorice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, you're just like, are you going to be picking it? So, what do you think of black licorice, little Willow? Right Yum. He's here, by the way. Oh, okay. Holy cow. I don't like to video when the farrier's here oh, because... Yeah, oh, yeah, we're gonna go. I literally don't like to video when the farrier's here because, I mean, it's an invasion of his privacy. But Sky, do you guys remember? Do you guys remember how the whole Sky thing happened? One day Fiona wasn't at the barn and the farrier was at the barn and she asked us to go outside, asked me to go outside and get Sky so she could get her feet done by our farrier. And I went out there, could hardly get her to come in and follow me. She was like, I'm not going with you. And then the whole time I had to hold her and be like, it's okay, it's okay. You just need somebody to love you. That and I was sick. yeah, yeah, you're always sick, Sophie. Two Every times. time the farrier comes. Oh yeah, that's sick. right. Sophie was sick twice this summer. Okay. Anyways, so anyways, summer? no, you were sick two times this winter. Oh. Anyways, but the crazy thing is, is that this time when I held her, when I held, she, they don't need much more. This time when I held Sky, right here. This time when I held Sky for the farrier, she looked at me like I was the most important person in the world. Instead of like me having to really coax her, I was feeding her all these treats. And this time she just stared at me and I rubbed her and scratched her. You know what she does when I scratch under her neck? She was just so happy. She was blissful. She was like, she was a rock star. <laughs> Not completely like perfect. She still pulled her legs back a couple of times, but what a difference. Like, I'm so proud, you guys. Like, I said to our fairy, you don't realize that a horse is connecting to you and bonding with you and becoming yours until all of a sudden you do something with them that was like terrifying before and then you realize you made a difference. I made a difference for you, huh? I'm gonna go get her a carrot. Hey, Sky, look. I have a carrot for you Bye. because you are a good girl. She's like two carrots in one day. Let's go. Now. Two she carrots. Other no, they already had carrots. She was so good. She, I feel like she thinks she's our this horse is her now. Second carrot. They only had one. We have lots of ponies out. Good girl. So the girls want to go to Hard Station, and I'm here in the car looking for my keys and my purse. Waiting for them. Why am I waiting for them, do you ask? Because Gabby's hair got wet and now she has to brush it and recurl it before we can go. Yeah, that, that's the new thing, you guys. She's growing up. Frostbite. Fresh hair. 
and food. Everything you need to go on a road trip, right? I got food. You got food too? Good yeah. job. We're here and it's packed, like beyond packed. Like so many people are here and I parked. There's no parking and I parked. That's like huge. I'm, With my help. Today is such a good day, except for this, my hair. I didn't go in and oh, fix it. Oh, my hair's it. better. Yeah, I know you fixed it. All right, let's go see my what animals works. they have today. Come on. We're in Cow City. There's a lot of cows. Look at that though. But look at how horrible. Oh my gosh, look at her hip. And yeah, she still looks so happy. Oh, she has babies. Or she's a he. I think that's babies. Gabby! Is that a girl? A mama or a boy? <laughs> okay, I thought so too. She's really cute though. And then more cows. Oh, little piggies. And they're shaking. Aww. Aww. That one's the cutest. I like spotted things too. More cows. Hello, cow. Very fat. <laughs> oh, she looks maybe she's pregnant. Uh, she's very fat. Itchy. Come close to me. I'll scratch you. I'm good at that. <laughs> Somebody has the worst time here. This cow just tried to kill her. Get close again and show them what she does. Come here, baby. She was like gonna charge. She was she shaking came close her head. To me. She's walking by. <laughs> she's like, that charge. I don't think she's been abused. Yeah, that's from like you know how horses. That's not from their sticks whipping them. Certainly the cutest face you would ever see. Yeah, that's happening. Puddles galore. It is packed here, you guys. Cars for days. This is a rip off. Yeah. Sophie's like, it's a rip off. Literally, there's like five cows and 200 people, probably 500 people. And it's all old farmers. Farm. They're here to buy all. pigs for bacon. Yeah, they're here to buy pigs for bacon. I love me a cow though. Cows are adorable. Yeah. Look, we parked right there. There was a car in front of us. Now I can just drive through. Like there's something satisfying about walking through huge puddles. So that was disappointing. Everywhere we go, Sophie gets scared though. That that cow was like putting its head down and and huffing and puffing, really shaking its head. I was ready to attack her. <laughs> what? Gabby is like one of those people that's all talk, no action. What happened? If I was allowed to, without going to jail, I would. <laughs> no, she would never. If I yelled. Gabby's the I'm least confrontational mad. person you'll ever meet. You know Sam? Gabby, you Sam, see me twins. On Roblox. Sophie's more confrontational than 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 Gabby, and she seems like the quiet, kind one. Oh no, I am you can't tell a person one. until they grow up. When they're young, there's like they change as they grow. But anyway, let's go home. Actually, let's phone Dad and tell him to bring us home some some potatoes. Didn't survive. Gabby's hair did not survive. Um, so one of the reasons that I keep going there is like I'm not opposed to another mini. We're not getting it. I want another mini. No. I want a baby. I want to, I don't know what I want, but like, I feel like there's another mini in our life, you guys. Oh, uh, there is uh, not. If we're getting another animal, well, pony, Gabby wants another it's going to be a pony that I could ride. I know a lot of you guys think that we shouldn't get any this ponies. This is my or, hair after it gets wet. I know a lot of you guys think we shouldn't get any horses that we can't ride, but there's so much more to horses than riding. Loving is an, such an amazing opportunity. Yeah, All right, but let's go. I prefer riding. Mm -hmm. 